Okay, before we try anything else in Photoshop, let's um, let's double click on this. Uh, because we didn't delete our pixels, when we double click and return to camera raw, we should have the whole image show up, yep. And so now when we make additional adjustments, let's just focus on this one area here, keep our eyes there. Now what happens if we bring up the clarity a little bit, Maybe the vibrance, don't want to lose that detail in there. Be careful with the saturation. Check our before and after. That looks okay. A little more contrast. Bring these highlights down. We're going to have a hard time darkening this because there's not a lot here to darken. We'll have to use some other tricks to do that. What do we have? Before, after, looking better, huh? And we're still going to take it further. Let's come back. And then now we can undo. We can Command Z, see before and after, and say, yeah, I like where this is heading. Okay, now how about let's try that same trick again, but now we have a smart object. If we jump this, Command J, that same, you know, change in the blending mode to multiply to bring out a little richness in color and to, to crank down the opacity. Um, let, we need to eliminate this smart object. Let's go ahead and rasterize it. Not rasterizing our original one. And this hasn't changed anything, see? It's exactly the same as it was before. Let's go ahead and change this to multiply. Oh my goodness. Bring the opacity down and check our before and after. And it's getting a little dark in areas. So what if we wanted this not to be so dark? We like the rest of it, but I want to preserve the lightness here. Well, remember, masks. Let's go ahead and click and add a mask. And let's paint with black. And let's lower the opacity. Remember, hit the letter D to get default colors. Um, but something just occurred to me. We've been using the brush engine. Photoshop's going to remember the brush engine. Do we have all our settings settings on? Yeah, we got our size jitter. We got scattering. We're going to have to to be able to control. Let's clear the brush controls. Now we can control what we're doing. And um, I want a soft, not too big, really soft, and paint right here. So we're painting in on the mask, and I've got white exchange. Um, not sure how I did that, but if nothing's happening, check your colors, because chances are you've got white on white. Bring this out, and let's see what we got. To eliminate the mask, if you hold down Shift, there's a neat trick, and you click, it, it removes the effects of the mask and then shift clicking again so you can see what's going on. You can see, yeah, that's an improvement. Um, we've changed that blend mode. We can always add a vibrance layer right here, an adjustment layer, and check what happens when we pull our vibrance up a little bit, get a little bit more, a little saturation, not too much. Click OK, check that out. That looks fine. It's kind of bringing out some neat color back here, if you notice that. You, you'll see it on yours when you try it. What happens if we drop an S-curve on this? Now, we already did it once. Here's how you do a natural S-curve. You just click to make a point right at this intersection and drag it straight down a little bit. Click up here near that intersection, which has moved a touch. Pull this up. And then we can check, did it help our image? And you decide for yourself. And if it darkened up areas that you didn't want darkened, use the mask. And if there's ever not a mask there, add a mask. You have control over all this. Kind of the, the capper at the end of this, because these are our focal points. I want to bring the attention in a little more. So we're going to come back. We're going to add a vignette. I'm going to show you a trick about um, there's 
dozens of ways to add vignettes. Let me show you one way I really like that uh, has a lot of control.